A trade deal with Australia should be Boris Johnson's priority, a poll has suggested, as Britain looks to forge new relationships with countries around the world following Brexit. Talks between the UK and the US focusing on a trade pact were postponed earlier this year due to the coronavirus pandemic, but will continue to make progress in September. And trade talks with Japan are heating up, with the two sides saying last week they hope to have a deal signed by next month. But the government should instead be looking to Australia when it comes to preparing for the post-Brexit world of trade, a survey has found. 4 in 10, 948, readers who took part in an express poll said Canberra should be at the front of the lineup of nations awaiting trade pacts with Britain. The total value of the trade relationship between the UK and Australia is £18.6 billion. In its negotiating mandate, published in June, Britain said it wanted an ambitious and comprehensive deal. It said any trade agreement should include a focus on technology, innovation and research and development. The next round of talks is planned for September after the previous meetings in June and July. Trade Minister Liz Truss described the discussions with the Australians as productive and said the team reflected our shared ambition to secure a comprehensive deal to boost trade and investment between our like-minded economies. In the poll, 20%, 500, said Japan should be prioritized while another 20%, 474, opted for the U.S. 9% 237 of respondents said a trade deal with the EU should be focused on first and foremost, while 8% 223 picked New Zealand. 3% 96 said other countries should be prioritized in trade talks. In comments, some readers said deals with Commonwealth nations should be treated as must-haves. One person said, easy decision. Concentrate on Australia, New Zealand and Japan then see what the rest of the Commonwealth and the rest of the free world has to offer. The EU can come well after we have left all their control and control ourselves for the first time in over 40 years. Tough at the beginning fair comment, but I would rather be free and independent than ruled by the unelected foreign junta any day. A second reader added, start with the Commonwealth countries. It makes sense to ask your true friends first.